Okay, okay. It's enough of that. Hello, Twitch. We're gonna play some uh, some Terraria today. Before we get into that, let me just say a few things. First of all, may I, I, I wanted an image for like the uh, the music at the start, so I just sort of did a did a a Google image search of some Terraria bosses, and I found this lovely 3D render of the King Slime. And I was like, oh, he's missing, he's missing the ninja that's floating on the inside. So I, I just threw it into my, uh, my GIMP, the little image editing software. And, uh, I had to Google search image ninja. And, and I learned today that there is a, a Fortnite streamer by the name of Ninja. And so it is, it is, it is nearly impossible to find an actual picture of a ninja on Google Images, because all you find is this blue-haired dude playing Fortnite. So I thought, okay, okay, quick fix, easy fix, that's fine, this happens all the time. Sometimes words lose their intended meaning on search results, so you just have to sort of search for something else. Uh, let's see here, let's turn down the mic volume a little bit. So I, I amended my Google search from just Ninja to Ninja Warrior. Forgetting that there is a competition, a like, I don't know what the hell it is supposed to, I guess it's like a reflex competition called American Ninja Warrior, and so that was the new thing that I was getting. Again, unable to find a ninja. And so I said, okay, fine, just whatever, I'll just have to put the name of a ninja that I know and just use that. And so that's why we have uh, Raizo from... From One Piece, floating in there. What a cool guy. Also, uh, sec second thing that I wanted to just mention before we get started on this Terraria play. Um, I was typing in the category that we were playing, which was Terraria, and I noticed that Terraria ter ter Terraria Otherworld was in there. Like, ter Terraria Otherworld was like a sort of spin-off game that they were working on, like, back in 2015. It got cancelled, like, 2017. But, it's just funny that before the game was released in any possible form, no beta, no alpha, nothing. But th there's a Twitch category for it. I just thought, I thought that was interesting. That a, a cancelled game that never saw the light of day has a Twitch category. Anyway, let's get into this. We're playing some Terraria. Today, I, I finished um, most of my holiday gift wrapping. So, I got nothing left to do today. I've done all my chores. I don't got to work tonight. So, we're going to play my favorite game. Actually, I don't, I don't know if you could consider Terraria my favorite game. It is definitely one that I have uh, nearly 600 hours clocked in on, on Steam. So, it is a game that I have probably the most amount of time poured into it as a singular game. Maybe some other series of games have taken up more of my time. Probably Monster Hunter. I feel like I've put like 300 hours into each of the Monster Hunter games I've played. Which is about four of them? Let's see, there was three. There's three Ultimate. No, no, no. There's just, there's just fucking three. Monster Hunter 3. And then there's four Ultimate. And then there's Generations. And then there's World. So yeah, that's three... That's four separate games, about 300 hours each. So combined, Monster Hunter probably has eaten more of my life than Terraria. But Terraria is a game that I've put more time into um, singularly. Is everything A-OK? -okay? Are we good? Do we have, like... Okay, good. We have video and audio. Yes. I can't tell. Okay, I think we have audio. I don't know. Someone let me know in the chat if, if we, for some reason, do not have game audio. Let's just randomize us a character real quick. Actually, one of those looked pretty good. No, no, no. See, I, I click it too fast. Too fast. Oh, shit. I gotta make sure that, like, yeah, okay, cool. The alert box is on the top layer, just in case we get anything. I made that mistake on Thanksgiving, where it was the first time playing Terraria on the stream. And didn't 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 optimize it. I wasn't prepared. I'm prepared now. We're gonna play some solo calamity modded Terraria. 
and uh, see if we can't get some progress done. Cause I I just I like playing Terraria, and I like I like the fresh start of a Terraria world, pristine, untouched. That works. You know what? This this red-haired guy freaking works. Let's just create him. Uh, what's his name? I don't know. Blah. I tell you what, we're 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 close to 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 Christmas. This is this is Fred Claus, which I think was like a really, really direct to DVD movie about Santa Claus's brother or something. Uh, that was a practice world. Delete that shit. We're making a new world. On the Thanksgiving stream, which we did nothing, we just blasted through it with like some some like end game weapon. I made a large world. I don't know if I want to make a large world this time. Because it'll take too long to get to anywhere. So how about we have ourselves a nice little medium expert world. Uh... Oops. Oops. Wait. What? Did I hit... I wasn't done naming that. Crap. I was going to call it Holly Jolly World, but I guess now the world's name is just Holly. And just with the... Look, the Christmas colors are right here. You have the red and green of the crimson and forest. So it is like a Christmassy kind of theme going on here. So we're going we're gonna to do more Terraria today. Just because that's what I feel like playing today. I don't really want to play Pokemon again for a little while because the category is overloaded, saturated, like over encumbered with just so many people. Can I edit this world actually? Can I edit this? Nope. Okay. I guess we're just playing. We're playing Holly. Whatevs. Now I won't make the same mistake I did last stream. We're going to get started proper. Chop down these two trees and do not move. This is important. Do not move from your very initial spawn point because that you need to put a marker on and that is going to be the center of your little house now why would you want that well because when you die you respawn and unless you feel like crafting a bed you're always going to respawn right here where you started in the game so if we make that the center of our little NPC hotel, it'll be easy enough to uh, to always be in your home when you respawn. And so now we can build outward. Uh, okay, yeah, we, we, we know nothing of this world. Do I need to mess with any settings? No. Alright, everything looks sort of okay. Yeah? I guess we could scale the UI up just a, just a, just a scotch. To make things look more aesthetically pleasing. Eh, there. Okay, cool. Ah! No! Killed by a slime! Oh, sh okay. Oh yeah, It since it is December, Terraria is in its, like, Christmas variant. So, slimes have little ribbons on them. Little gold and green and blue ribbons. Uh, we got a starter bag, which has, whoa! I feel like that has way more stuff than it usually does. Hold on. Well, we got a better sword right off the bat. That's good. Calamity. I don't remember which part of Calamity does this. Maybe just Calamity. It's been years since I've played Calamity. It's been years since I've played Terraria. I only just got back into it, like, a couple of weeks ago. And, uh... So much has changed. Well, nothing has changed in vanilla Terraria. That is the sad part. Very, very little change happening in Terraria until next year when we're supposed to get the 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 next big and supposedly final major update to Terraria from the official developers, at least. Um, Journey's End 1.4 is what it'll be titled, I suppose. So once, once that comes out, I will be happy to go back to Vanilla Terraria and see what it has to offer. But for now, in the two years that I haven't played this game, 
Not much has changed in vanilla Terraria. Meanwhile, modded Terraria has gone above and beyond into the stratosphere with content. And of of the mods, there were there were like three really popular mods that I was playing two years ago. Um, there was Thorium, which added like a musician class, um, like which did symphonic damage, a cleric class, which did like pure purity damage, and it added a whole bunch of other really cool stuff. There was Calamity, which we're playing right now. And then, literally, the mod that got me into modded Terraria was, uh, Tr Tremor? I think that's what it was. It was supposed to be, like, the thing above hard mode. Tray mode, or Tray, tray core mode. And that, that was, that was, like, the one that I had to download not with the mod loader. I had to go to its official form. Anyway, um... In the two years that it's been since I've played... Oh, shit. We have a Winter Wonderland very near spawn. That is... I like that. We can make a nice little... Uh, uh, wintertime cottage as our base house. Okay. This does mean that we can be... Hit pretty hard with some ice slimes. Yep, there's one there. In fact, didn't I... Don't I get a... Yeah, I get a summon weapon from that. So let's just have him... Try to knock stuff around for me, please. What am I trying to say? Oh, yeah. We could be invaded by Eskimo zombies, as well as ice slimes, which hit significantly harder than the standard ones. Especially in expert mode. Anyway, modern Terraria. I used to play Tray mode, and then, like, Tray mode stopped updating, so I moved on to Calamity and Thorium. And now it seems like Calamity is the only one that updates on a regular basis. I think I think Thorium updated last month. And Calamity updated twice this week. So at the very least, Calamity seems to be the most actively changing and updating mod. So that is the one we're playing. If, if I can get, like... I don't know. An itch to play it, I will probably go back to Traymor, just because it is- the Oh, what the hell was that? Okay, you see, this is- this- wait, it- it's gone. There was- there was definitely a Yeti. Ah! What's it called? It's an angry dog! Oh no! Shit! Is this thing still gonna be, like, alive and near my home? This isn't good. I'm gonna be spawn camped. Ah! Okay. Uh... You just die. I've got, I've got, I've got a way to defend myself. Okay. Lovely. All right. I was expecting like the normal vanilla ass snow biome mobs. I forgot that we're playing severely modded Terraria. All right. Snow biome next to house might not be such a good thing. In fact, it may be totally um, a pain in my ass. So we need to be real quick on building up a little base, even if it's just like two rooms for NPCs so I can get the merchant and the guide to move in. Hold on, what did we get? What did we got? What did we got? We got the Iron Heart, we got Revengeance, and then opening our starter bag gave us the other shitty ass items, which is Death and Defiled Rune. Also, hold on, we're, we're equipping that. This is literally just adding the... I don't know how I can listen to the Calamity music without this accessory equipped. Because it definitely takes up an inventory, or an, an accessory slot. But it lets me listen to the awesome Calamity music. Which was the opening music, by the way. It's the Calamity music for the slime boss, which sounds way cooler than just any boss theme in Vanilla Terraria. Which there are like, I don't know, two of... So we're going to have Calamity music at least. It's a lot nicer than Terraria, but then again, I've been listening to Terraria vanilla music for almost 600 hours. So this is a nice little fresh, 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 breath of fresh air. I can't speak right now. And in fact, maybe I should try to chill out on the, sh on the speaking because 
I'm gonna tire myself out before we even get anything done. The sun is almost setting. This is a nightmare. Holy crap. Okay. Well, since we're so close to the icy world, let's make a boreal home. Ah! Okay, putting that one boreal brick <laughs> nearly destroyed the game world. What am I doing? I don't, need, I don't need to be in my inventory for this. I think we have enough wood to build a couple of rooms. So we will go that far. In fact, I don't even think we'll go that far. Is that Pinky? No, it's not Pinky. Let's seal this off for safety. <laughs> oh damn it! I don't have anything. I don't even have a grappling hook. This is this is the this is the bad part of starting a fresh slate. But everything's so peaceful before like you summon a bunch of monsters and literally change the 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 nature of the world with your killing of gods. Ah yes. Ah, crap. To make, like, the boreal torches and shit, I'm gonna need ice. Oh, no! Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. We'll just do without... I'll get the structure of the rooms built, and then we'll go grab ice later. Unless... Okay, if I can just... Get in here. Get in here! I'm gonna make a mad dash for the ice. Even though there's probably, like... A demon dog waiting for me. Uh, let's see here. Mining potion, splunker potion, gills potion, swiftness potion. I got a recall potion. That could help me. Hmm. Alright, I don't need snow. I literally just need ice. Like, legit ice. Can I grab just a tight... There's some ice right there. Right there. Okay. We can make it. Get the ice. Get the hell out of here. Hmm. Give me the ice! Alright, that's enough. Let's get the hell back to house. <gasps> A wolf from slime! I won't pass up this opportunity. Ow! A single shard. Great. Cool. Ah! Wait! More wolf from shards! This has... this, this is beginning equipment in the Calamity mod. Oh crap, there's- oh, there's a fucking mushroom on my hot bar. Sort that, there we go. I don't even have any red potions. Uh, no! Light up the forest! Shit. Guide? Dylan? I'm gonna fucking leave you out here to die. <gasps> There's a pig. There's a lovely pig. Alright, if I can get the pig in here. Come on, buddy. Yes! Okay. Pig is valuable. Oh no. Alright. Get your ass in here, you dumb fuck. Come on, come on, get in, get in, get in! Yeah! Okay. Also, yeah, it's, it's winter time, so some of the enemies will drop little presents. And what's in this one? What's in this one? <gasps> Gingerbread cookie! Alright, I don't care about the pine tree for now. Gingerbread cookie will give us half an hour. Half an hour! Of stat buffs. Stat, stat, stat buffs. Holy cow. Alright, let's build some crap. Now that we have our stuff. So... We need ice torches. Uh, let's make a shitty campfire just right here on the top of our little home so that we have some health regen. And now we can start building. Alright. This is this is going to be like the next couple of minutes of just boring ass building. But whatevs. I would like some boreal doors. I'm going to I'm going to guess three for just three for now. Fuck it. Three tables, and a mat of wood. Shit! 
Oh well. Unless I really want to go out there and risk my life for some boreal wood. We are done building. <laughs> I literally built nothing. Oh, why are tables so expensive? 8, 4... I guess I didn't have as much as I thought I did. Unless my boreal wood... Uh. Crap. Alright, well then. I suppose... We can just like, toss all these. Toss all these. I'm not... Wait, what's that? Holy crap! There's a lot of shit for revengeance. See, I don't like that the B button is for adrenaline mode because that's also going to consume all my buff potions. Getting hit drops adrenaline back to zero. If you hit max adrenaline and don't use it within five seconds, your adrenaline damage will drop gradually. All enemies drop 50% more cash. All enemies gain a new damage reduction stat, which can be reduced by applying various debuffs to them. The amount of this damage is... Yeah, get rid of Revengeance. So, Revengeance goes above Expert Mode and makes the game even more bullshit. And then Death goes beyond Revengeance! And, yeah, and what does this do? Yeah, this... You need to activate Revengeance and Death to activate the Defiled Rune. So that it's just like so many levels of extra difficulty added on top of... Terraria now. Or not Terraria, but Calamity. Well, I'm gonna spend a few minutes killing this pig. And I guess I'll just place some blue torch there. This pig will drop um, bacon, which is about useless as hell. It's about the same as the gingerbread man. However, he'll drop 10 gold. Do I have some easier way of doing this. I guess I can just chuck knives at him. Or hit him with this staff. Nope. Staff isn't very useful. Uh, okay. I'm gonna chuck some throwing knives at him. At least this way I can just hold down the mouse button. Calamity mod, people. Don't you know? Can't you tell? You can't have this experience in normal Terraria. Only with mods can you throw knives at a pig. Hmm, a lens. Good. The starter bag gave us King Slime summon item. But we're going to have to actually make our Eye of Cthulhu. Summon item. There you go. Ten gold, some bacon, and a good chunk of my knives back. Can I craft with these shards? No. I need to make an anvil. Or purchase an anvil. <sighs> I don't want to go out there, but I feel like I'm going to have to. So, screw it. I might, I might die a couple of times doing this, but I need... I need to at least plant these... Fucking acorns. Uh, yeah. Also, sort so that normal torches are before the ice torches. Get them! Light up the forest. Okay, where are my acorns? Right. Here. I cannot handle snow Eskimos right now. So we will just plant our trees and get back to the safety of our home. Ah! 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 
No! Oh, summoner proficiency. Cool. We, 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 we dealt with this on the Thanksgiving stream because it was like all new to me. But yeah, there are proficiencies with this mod. I now have discovered, thanks to literally looking it up, you can check your proficiencies way later when you have access to the uh, goblin t tinkerer. Alright, what else can I, like, do? Since we've got nothing, nothing going on, except for just watching my little slime buddy take care of all the monsters for me. Give us a lot of this pine. I don't want this pine. Okay. Uh, that can go. We need to keep an eye on all of our like equipment because any of it could be a new material for something else. Apparently, the the wooden sword of all things can be upgraded into like. Something amazing. Craft. Let's see here. These little daggers made out of the shit shards. See, they could be turned into this. I need a I need a diamond, but I can make a rogue weapon. Which that's I think that's like the only new class, I guess you could call it, that Calamity adds is rogue. Which specializes in throwing things. Base Terraria, you have your melee, you have ranged, you have summoning, and you have magic. And those are your four basic damage types. I think in Base Terraria, most of your thrown objects do uh, melee damage still. Or they do something damage. They don't do, like, special thrown damage. But with the with the mods, it becomes thrown damage. Or it becomes rogue damage. And so now you can build armors to buff that. Right, it's nearly daytime. We wasted too much time setting up. I'm not I'm not efficient in building. I think it's safe to go out. Are we done with the nighttime? Are we done with the zombies? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're safe. Let's cut down some trees! For the first couple of nights of your Terraria adventure, you would like to explore during the daytime. What was that? Is that a noise? Is that a goblin? Okay. You want to explore during the daytime and build your base up during the nighttime. That way, you have something to do, no matter what time it is. But, I neglected to get enough materials. Now, if we were just making a basic house out of the basic wood, it would not. It would have been a non-issue, because I could have just built with that. But I, I decided, no, I want a fancy snow house out of this beautiful boreal wood. And that was my downfall. Could have had some rooms by now. Ah, crap. Ice slime. Oh, I should... Mm, nah. We literally have nothing, so wasting one of my buff foods would kind of be pointless. What's unique to the ice biome in Calamity? I suppose I could just pull up the wiki. But where's the fun in that? We will run into it as we come to it, you know? I know that that giant snow dog is new, so there's that to look forward. 
right, we got we got a good sizable stack of boreal wood. I just need to remember to replant some acorns before I leave. I put on a different mod before starting this called bags. So it claimed that some enemies will drop bags. But I, I didn't really like look too deep into it to find out what the hell it meant by that. So maybe bosses drop bags now instead of like their usual shit. However, we're playing on expert mode, so bosses are going to drop bags anyway. Hmm. Well, whatever. We'll, we'll discover this when we run into it. Maybe the basic slimes don't count? I don't know. It also said it was for Calamity, so... Maybe it's for Calamity exclusive enemies. But I believe the Wolfram drone and the Wolfram slime... They, uh, they, they only drop their literal one thing, so they probably don't count for dropping a bag. Oh, shit. Oh, that's right. I don't have any potions. I need to find the desert unless... I think my starting bag hooked me up. Did my starting bag hook me up? I don't think it did. I'm looking for bottles. Huh. I could have sworn that a previous starter bag gave me some bottles so I can get a crafting station going for potions. But, I can't find it. Alright, well, I can't go any higher. It's the end of this adventure. I don't have any rope. Do I have rope? Uh, I smell... Okay, I, I, I've got a little bit of rope, but let's let's not go too far from home. We have a, we have a nice little cave here that we could explore. Uh, let's see here. Sort... Is there anything I want to pop before going into this cave? Oh, shit! I forgot! No! Oh, the acorns! Yeah. Get ourselves a little forest growing. No! I don't want those torches. I want these torches! There's plenty of them. Alright, this might be a suicide run. Oh, I don't want it to be a suicide run, though. I've got ten gold in my in my pocket. Okay, we're getting out of here. I will literally get to a point where I don't even need that rope. But for now, I need that rope to get in and out. <gasps> the trees! They're already growing! Oh, wood. Where's my... Yeah. And daybloom seeds. Don't I need like a special ow fuck thing for that? Hold on. Hold on. Let's see here. Can I plant these like right outside my house? Day blooms are good to have. Oh, yeah. I can just plant these flat on the ground. Let's cut the grass, get the blueberry bush out of here. Out of here. Uh and we'll we'll dedicate this little patch of grass right here to grow in some stuff. And literally all I've got are some daybloom seeds, so plonk and plonk. Eh. Daybloom growing. Please don't hit those with your sword. Ah! What did I do? No. I fucking fucked it up. Is it okay? Is everything okay? I think we're fine. Okay. Cool. Let's just continue, I guess. Uh, Alright. So. What can we do with snow that we couldn't before? We can make the ice machine. Huh. Alright, well let's see here. We'll need an anvil. We'll need some iron and some snow and some ice. And we can make the ice machine and just build ice furniture. Uh, let's see here. Some harpy feathers. A bottle and a bunch of snow gets this, the blizzard in the bottle. And then we'll need a bookcase, which we would have to find the dungeon. A uh, bucket of water, some snow. We can make a, we can make a frost bolt, which is a material. Alright. Screw all that. First thing I want to do... Well, not first thing. We've already started our adventure. We're well beyond first thing. 
What is that? Oh, it's a squirrel. <laughs> it looked like a weird deformed bird for just a second. All right, cut me some slack. I'd like to put a sunflower on both sides of my house so that I can have speed boost along the way. Hey, speed boost from end to end. Yes, good. Okay. House is a little lopsided. Oh, there's a cave. There's a nice little surface cave here. Let's go spelunking. Please let there be a treasury chest. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, starter loot. We got an aglet and recall potions. Not bad, not bad at all. One of those pots even had a little health potion in it. Okay. Get those down here. All right. So now we've got healing potions and we got faster movement speed. It's not even like an augmented one, but hey, whatever. Should we go further down? No, no, we shouldn't. Not yet. Not yet. I literally have nothing to my name. I think we have enough shards of Wolfram to build, like, some armor and maybe a weapon. These presents are gonna fill my fucking inventory. Huh. No! Damn it. I wanna jump over! Over the top! We need to find the desert, if possible, so I can harvest some sand. That'll allow... Shit. Well, we got a nice golden tombstone and nine gold coins on the floor. Okay. Let's just pop down a chest real quick. And we will build our house tonight. So I will put all of that crap in there. Uh, any other important things that I want to just tuck away? Give me one of those. We're nowhere near, like, a point where any of this is really useful to me. Uh, that can stay. That, 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 uh, that, uh, these, that, that. Uh, we don't even need the hammer. I'm not using those, so get them out of here. Get the fucking... Just get it all out of here. Okay. There. That is genuinely all that I need in my hotbar right now. Get our slime back out. And what are we trying to do? We're trying to get some ice. Not ice, no. We're trying to get some sand. Sand would be very important right now. Uh, we could do two things with the desert biome. We could grab the cactus. And use the cactus to make some cactus weapon and cactus armor. We got a giant bow. Alright, get that out of there. I oh, know. I put it in my actual armor slot. Well, there's a nice little surface water here. We could properly dig ourselves a fishing pond very close to home, which is something I'd like to do. <gasps> what is this? Oh, oh, desert, right away, cool. Nice, oh, antlion den, not nice, not good. Jump right over me, you dumbass, cool. All right, I'm gonna take this tree down. Ah, oh God, dude, that actually fucking had me shiver. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You're not supposed to be on the fucking surface, you asshole. Ah! Oh, and he stole my gold coin! Well, that's literally the mini-boss of the antlion den. And he's supposed to be something that you farm later after get- I need some- mm. Alright, new tactic, maybe? What's this? Oh, sugar cookie. So, how am I going to play this now? Shit. Well, the antlion mini balls isn't there anymore. And neither are my fucking nine gold coins, because I think a tiny slime grabbed them. And that, that slime would have definitely despawned by now. Alright, we're going to see if we can just cheese this with baby slime summon and throwing knives. Because, truly, that's, that's what I got. Oh, I probably should have just grabbed the bow and hit him with some flaming arrows. Hit and run tactics, you know? Alright, well, shit. Let's give ourselves an escape route via these ropes. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
<gasps> I got one gold back. Oh, that's lovely. Fuck off. I literally just want some cactus. Oh, this isn't even like an ant. I thought, I thought this was the entrance to the antlion den. It must be incredibly close to the surface for the mini boss to like just shoot right up to the top. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Baby slime, save me. Ugh. Health. No. Asshole. No. No. I dropped my remaining gold coins. Don't pick them up. Don't pick them up. Don't pick them up. <gasps> no! You assholes. Alright, did I... Okay, I got cactus. I failed to get the fucking... Uh... Alright, what can we do? We can craft... Jack and shit. Alright, let's, let's craft these. I don't... I've never... I didn't use these last time we played, but what do they do? Okay, so they're just like little sticky traps. Little sticky traps. Can I hit an enemy with them? Oh no, I've attached them to the to the fucking to the guide. But they can be attached. I see. All right, let's let's craft a boatload of these. Uh, grab the bow. I was a fool for not thinking I would need this. My bad. Uh, get the flaming arrows because they're better than normal arrows. Alright, it's almost night time. In fact... Ah! Fuck it. Okay, let's just run for it. Go, go, go! Pow! Ah! Oh yeah, my, my, my little baby slime. I need that. This is terrible. This is a shit show. I'm sorry if you guys thought I was like some kind of Terraria professional. Just for having 600 hours clocked in. I've literally just lost all of the like 11 gold that I had. In the span of like four minutes, just from just from stupid deaths. But I, I truly do need that slime. Not the slime. God dang it! I truly do need the sand. So let's just straight up ignore the actual biome here. Oh, uh, and just grab ourselves some of this. Uh, there, just give me some sand. Give me some sand. Sand, quick! Come on! No! No, leave me alone! Ah! Recall! Out! Okay. It's building time, people. Because night is upon us. Ah, didn't mean to loot all of that shit. All right, de deposit all and just grab our little building materials. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now then. We need some more furniture now that it's the next night. Okay. Uh, hmm. Perfect. I don't know how we only have that many, but whatever. It's the perfect amount. We will build our shitty little house right here at spawn. Oh, actually, I do need all of this because I need the chest out of the way to continue building the house. Bam. Nice lights. Uh, shit, this is gonna take forever. I have a very particular and near psychotic way of building terraria houses. And I'm sure everyone who plays this game does as well. So, this is just my method. Yes, you can build NPC homes smaller. Yes, you can even build them like nearly microscopic and non-existent but I like to have a little bit of symmetry at least with my room you you only need three things a table a chair and a light source so that is all that I give them 
But at the same time, I'd like them to have some 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 room. Some people build these like rat holes of of NPC houses. And the the NPCs that live there like have no room to breathe. I think we can fit one more round of table and chair. Where's my ice? Oh! Am I out of, like, normal candles? I guess I'm out of normal candles. So I need to build normal, convert, and then make a... another little candle. Oh, I guess we can make some of these as well. And I'll put one right here. Yes. Okay. Is that the number of spaces that I do? I think so. Okay. Yes. And now this house is one off. Shit. <laughs> oh, whoops. Actually, wait a second. We can keep that little block there. And that'll be like the front light for the house. Bam! Look at that. Actually, we can also keep it down there, too. There. A front porch, if you will. Alright, well, we have the lights. We have the tables. We have the chairs. We just need a background layer of more boreal. And then we need to actually separate these rooms with their doors. I've got some left, but we'll keep it because we're going to need to build more of this stuff anyway. All right, look at that. The freaking guide has already, like, staked his claim. There. I leave the doors on the inside open for ease of access. No sense in having all these doors that you got to go in and out of. Uh, and let's just double check. Bam, valid, bam, occupied, valid, valid, not valid, it's too small. Hey, whoa, why'd you open the door, you diff? You diff. Is that doing damage? I can't tell. See, cacti stick to, like, everything. Walls, furniture, fucking doors. And when enemies touch it, I can't really tell if it does the damage to them or not. Hold on. Bam. Alright, so that did flat damage, but he's not taking any more damage. Hey, assholes. Eat these. No? Alright. Eyeball? Eat this. Yeah, touch it. There you go. So it's like a trap, I guess. You have to, you have to like, lead them into them. Make them eat them. Like Pac-Man dots. Okay. Well, there we go. We have some rooms now. Uh, shall we start building our little crafting area? I guess so. Now, for crafting purposes, I like to go underground. Let's get the map out of there. Oh 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna need one more door. First of all, there's like some free tin down here. That's pretty good. problem because I like to make my little subterranean crafting basement out of stone. But I have no stone! So I guess we're not going to build the basement just yet. I'm going to actually build up some more furniture. side. Four more tables. Four more chairs. Uh, four more of these little torch things. Oh god, the scroll is so slow. Uh, shit. Nowhere to put stuff. Uh, blueberries. Get the fuck out of here. God damn it, this is the problem with like early Terraria as well. I don't have any room! I shall make four candles. Get rid of this platform. And one more, two more of these. I suppose. Can I hang them on platforms? No. I guess I'll just hang it there for now. Hey! Right. Oh, it's daytime again, at least. The slimes are, are out and about. Alright, well, today we'll try to get some stone and, of course, more sand in order to build up our little crafting area. And my inventory's full, so we're gonna dump a chest right here on top of the house, all tacky and shit. Get, go away! Get out of here, slot. Okay. Dump a bunch of garbage. Mostly crafting, not crafting, but building materials. Since we'd like to build at night, no sense carrying all the garbage in the middle of the day. So that can go, that can go. Uh, all of these valuable potions that I might use by accidentally pushing B, they can go too. Don't need that, don't need that. The ore can stay because it's going to stack with any other ore I find. All but one recall potion for a quick escape. Don't need the lenses or the bombs or any of the crafting potion stuff. Actually, yeah, most, 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 most of this can, can piss off. I don't want the mushroom on my hotbar. I don't want the seeds either. Let's try to get all of our, like, damage-dealing stuff on one side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like some torches. I like how you can open up a chest and then craft from everything that's in the chest. I wish you could do that without opening the chest. I wish you could just, like, have access to all materials within your vicinity of crafting but there let's go adventuring do we go this way okay we have literally two dangerous zones near our house we have this tiny little chunk of grassland the desert's too dangerous for us right now this technically counts as like an antlion den so flyers antlions and the mini boss just keep jumping out of it and then, uh, we've got ice slimes, and then... Oh, there's some stuff there, actually. Hmm. So, I, I suppose we could go down our little cave next to the house and see what it has in store. Hopefully it has stone in store. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. E. Eh. Eh. Let's make ourselves an escape route in case I don't want to TP potion out and 
I'd prefer to climb out the old-fashioned way. Whoa. 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 Alright, there's like nothing so far. Oh! Oh, we got three freaking demon altars. And I'm out of... Okay, I'm out of visibility now. Shit. Oh, no. No! I literally cannot tell what's, like, keeping me from going forward. Oh, this sucks. This sucks with a capital S. Okay, there we go. Holy cow. Well, I suppose we should just dig out some stone. That's literally all I came here to get. Even. Tell you what, give me that torch. And we will, like, just hold it. We won't actually deploy the torch. Ah. Uh. All right. I see your game. Three demon altars near my house. So that is like a good source of we can craft all the shit I threw away. So we have Armageddon. Wait, is Armageddon? Did we start the game with Armageddon? I don't think we did. I think we started off with Revengeance, Ironheart, Death, and Defiled Rune. Ah. Uh. So this makes bosses insta-kill you. But they will drop more treasure bags. Well, no. No, I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna play with that. Okay, we're already at like the next layer of hell. I sure would like one of these to have torches in it. Oh, underground Oh no, underground uh snow place shit this is not good as dangerous as the surface ice place is the the, the underground version oh sweet we got our merchant ah ah can't see all right well we have um we did get a few torches oh money portal Okay, we got our money back. That 10 gold that I lost like a dumbass. Alright, let's head this way, away from the snow. Oh, well, that's as far as that goes. Cool. I suppose... Ah, what? Ah. What is with this there? Let's just very carefully see where this takes us. Railroads can, uh... Make you pass by some interesting stuff. But also, it is taking me through the underground snowy area. Which is a death sentence. Oh, what's this? I literally... Couldn't... There. Alright. Um... Slime? Ah! Oh god! Shit. There. Okay. Now what fucking ore is this? Silver? Alright, let's get some silver. some crimson ore. Right. Let's go fucking full speed ahead and obliterate that slime. It's gone. Alright. Well, let's just inch ever forward. Nope. 
I'm out of torches again. That's bad. And I don't think I can craft anymore. Because I have yet to find what I expected to find in this place, which was like a little room. An abandoned room. Okay, well. This did reveal a good bit of our map. But, uh, I think it's safer over here. Wait, what money? Why'd you pick up money? A slime with money? Oh, from the other dead enemies that died over here. Okay. Hmm. Let's go this way. Oh, that's right. Only have, like, the one precious torch. Flink root! Ah! No! Give me back my torch! Oh shit, is that like a whole vein of fucking gemstones? I'll take that. In fact... No, I didn't bring my bombs. Damn. I could've just blown all this up, but hey. We got a bunch of amethyst. Maybe even enough to build a grappling hook. However, grappling hooks are not insanely hard to come by uh, this time of year. Because we can just crack open a present and sometimes get a, uh, a grappling hook. Alright, what else do we got? What is this, just straight up iron? Yeah, okay, cool. Iron's very valuable. And look at all this stone! I'll just grab as much of this as I would like. And we can go back home and build our little basement. And our furnace and shit. It'd be a lot easier if I had my bombs. But I didn't bring my bombs! Ugh. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. A little something. I hear a zombie. <gasps> Ooh, a more valuable vein of ore. Platinum! I guess that means we don't have gold, we have platinum in our world. Mm, give me the shit, come on. Give it to me! Hall. Ooh. There be even more. Let's take this boreal platform that I abandoned a while ago and make use of it now. We'll come back down here when I have uh, a better pickaxe and I'll proc the Spelunker potion and the mining potion and we'll scoop up a whole bunch of valuable ores For now we're just sort of blindly exploring also I'm trapped. these sounds I'm hearing. Especially since I don't have a torch. Uh. Uh. I'm outclassed. There's a present down there at least. Ooh, 
There's definitely something foul down here. I can hear it. Yeah, there's like something making crunchy noises. Where are you? I can hear you. I kind of want this silt, I believe it's called. Yeah. Useless on its own, but if we get the extractor, which will be like a, a millennium from now, uh, we can potentially get some good stuff from this silt. What's this? Silver. Good. I can't tell the difference right now. I don't, I don't like it when I get silver and platinum on the same world. They, uh, they look too similar. Same thing with iron and tin, which I believe we have tin. Is this tin? Yes, tin and iron look similar. And, uh, silver and platinum look very similar as well. Come back my torch. Hold on, let's, let's try something real quick. First thing we're going to do is zoom the hell out. Now then, do we see anything useful in the distance? Sometimes you can use the screen, screen scrolling mechanic to kind of find, like, some hidden stiff in the distance. And I honestly can't see shit, and I hear a worm. So, we're out of here. And nighttime has just begun. Good. Let's chop down these trees before the zombies show up, and then we can start building. Yeah, I hear him. shooting star somewhere. I can't tell where it fell. Right. Now we have access to some shit. Nothing yet, but with a couple of torches, we can build the Furnance. And with the Furnance... Actually, now we need to put the fern ants down first. Crap. Alright. Put furnace in place of crafting bench so that I can do the bricks. Yeah, the gray bricks. My favorite. Don't use too many of these. I only need just enough to make a basic little room right now. The stone is still very useful for some other stuff right now as well. Alright, we're gonna dig until we can't, like, clear that jump. Okay, and then there we go. We already ha we already got it. And then that's gonna be the floor of our little, little crafting shit. Alright, maybe I need to zoom back in a little bit just so I can see. There. There we go. Sorry if this looks weird to you guys. I know that a lot of different people play Terraria at a different zoom level. But uh, this is this is definitely how I play. I play really up close like this. I, I like to fine tune my clicks. That's fine. Ah! I think I keep like, yeah, I, I keep clicking the fucking like border on the window, and that's what's messing this up. 
Okay. But we got our dimensions here. As big as your central room, plus the width of the two adjacent rooms, is the size of your little crafting area. At least in the beginning. You don't really need it much bigger than that in the beginning. I haven't even crafted the little adjacent rooms for the other side of the house. So we're going to have to just sort of leave it unfinished at the moment. finish like that for now. Alright, uh, plonk down the furnace, smack dab in the middle, workbench on one side, and if I'm lucky, I already have enough iron. No, I don't. Crap. Well, you know what? Truth be told, we have plenty of cash. We got plenty of cash from that money portal. Whoa! So that would be the bags. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's buy just yeah, just buy the anvil for fifty silver. Not very expensive at all. And we'll buy a bug net while we're here. And eh. uh, no, 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 this. no, no, this. Maybe a couple of potions until I get my crafting station set up. But hey, we bought the anvil. Because, honestly, 50 silver is not hard to come across. Alright, so now we have all sorts of shit. First things first, you'll notice that we got all this armor down here. Which we'll make. We'll make the... Oh, yeah. Wolfram armor. Bam. Finally. A defense value, for fuck's sake. Uh, we will make the pants if I can. I cannot. Shit. I don't have enough for the pants. How much platinum can I make? Oh, not very much. Enough to make a, a paltry candle. Silver, however. We could make some silver stuff. But we won't. We won't. And I won't tell you why. for it. Silver has more interesting uses than equipment. In fact, we can ask the guide himself. Oh, Dylan. Tell me the amazing things I can do with silver. Oh. Not, not much, really. We can make this. Which is made from a silver axe. You know what, we, we, we may as well make... Can, can I afford the silver axe? I guess that would be like the one thing I'd like to make. Let's see, is anything else here a material? No. Let's make the silver axe. And there we go, we have a better axe, I guess. What else? What is this? Iron Francescas. Hmm. Stealth Strike, which means we would have to have Rogue Armor to utilize this ability of a Stealth Strike. I don't really want to go Rogue. Not at the moment, at least. We'll just keep shit standard. Hey, well, we got some armor now, guys. Isn't that amazing? My inventory is already cluster-fucked to hell and back. Um. Hmm. This axe is better than this axe. And this axe can go in the fucking trash. Uh, oh yeah, we can take the, um, the sand and make glass and take the glass and make bottles and take the bottles. Oh, we can actually, oh, we can make some more stuff with glass. We can already make, like, glass stuff. Even though we don't have the glass blower. Okay. Well, no, I just want to make 
bottles for potions. Now you'll need one potion on a table, and since we have a crafting table here, that counts. So now we can make crappy potions! Uh, let's see here. Maybe a better thing. No, there's no better thing. Okay, well. Um. Okay, zombies are leaving now. Where are my wood? Where are my wood? Let's go ahead and get this built up so that I don't have to worry about it tomorrow night. We don't meet the re we don't we don't have the recom or sorry the requirements for like any of these NPCs. But I will go ahead and build the infrastructure for them. easy. You just arbitrarily click each individual furniture. Don't put them on your hotbar or nothing. That would save too much time. Eh. If you're a pro like me, you'll even misclick and save a couple of frames. In fact, if you're a real pro like me, you may even not build your fucking house long enough. In fact, you may have to clear off more of your fucking front forest area in order to fit the rest of your house. But it's cool because also if you're a pro like me, you'll have been prepared for this and upgraded your axe by now. squares because that yeah just a few more oh shit I can't even place it The die trader is here. What a cool guy. Alright, let's just cleave this trees out of our way. Just flatten this little area right here. Just like on the other side, we'll have a nice little front entrance area. So, one, two, three, four, one. We'll put the damn candles on the tables. We'll hammer away at all this dirt. Oh shit, it's raining. No! Where's my other blue candle thing. What the fuck? Am I blind? Am I blind? Oh yeah, no, wait. I put it down here. How did I do that? I don't know. Where is it now? Oh! 
Oh, I am blind. I've had it the whole time. There. Yeah, this will light up our little area. Now, I like symmetry, so I'm going to make that one block longer. There. There. And put doors in. Now then, before we put down more walls, we need to get rid of the existing ones. Actually, wait, no, I think that'll automatically happen when I... Yeah, will it? I th yeah, I think it's actually I think it's actually a okay, one hundred percent fine. Right. Where are my gray bricks? There. I'm not much of a builder. I have no style. Okay. So just, eh. Oh no. I won't be able to like just auto fill this. Uh, I'm gonna have to actually manually hammer all of this dirt out of here. Ew! Gross. Well, give me the crappy hammer. Active inventory. Yeah, right. Uh, get rid of all this. Oh wait, hold on. Put that dirt block there. Okay, there. See, this sucks because now we're spending most of the day building instead of exploring. Must have. Don't know why. Oh no! It's not enough. Crap. Well, I was hoping to save some of these stones for some other shit. Okay, well. I don't know how we did it, but we have six remainder. It's enough to get, like, some of our gray brick back, but whatever. We're going to expand the basement later anyway. Just tuck it into storage. Actually, wait. i got to put the sunflower back down. Uh, here. There. Do I have... Full coverage. Oh, we're missing like a bit of coverage on the happiness. That. Both sunflowers need to come a little closer. Just a scotch, though. Just a tiny bit. You are now here. Oh, I can't. There's no grass there. Fine. It's going to be here. Yeah. You still need to come a little bit closer as well. There. 
Do I have full coverage? Yes, good. House is immune to bullshit. Because this will decrease monster spawn. Now then, what can we do? Uh, I guess, since we're already here, we can just fill the house with boreal background wall. of empty rooms for NPCs to not live in. With a single piece of, like, wall left. How'd that happen? Whatever. Stick it there. Alright, our house is tragically full of worms and fish. This is actually disgusting. Let's catch them with the bug net. There. Okay. What now? Um, I guess we can talk to... God dang it. I guess we can talk to you. Convert our strange plant into a die. What's it look like? That's actually pretty good. I like the look of that. We'll keep that. I was gonna sell it, because it is pretty valuable. Oh yeah! Before nighttime falls. Let's go get these bottles filled with water. Where's my where's my fucking bug net? Shit! There. It's a good chance to get stocked up on goldfish and worms. A pig! Oh, if only. I don't really need the bacon. Damn it. Die, monster! It's gonna be really hard to... Yeah, this is terrible. It's kinda hard to kill the pig. Because it has, like, so much health. And it has no reason to have that much health. Other than to make this, like, annoying to do. Because you want the ten gold. You want the bacon. I don't even have an auto-swing weapon yet, which makes this, like, extra excruciating. Yeah, I'm just gonna get you in here. Swing away. Anything else that could make this faster? No. Whatever, I'm already committed to this. the fucking slime summon would help me out with this. There. Fuck you. Right. Uh, yeah. Bottles of water. That's what we need. Bottles of water. Let's go. Bottles of water. Pig distracted us. Right here. Stand near water. And you get the option to fill your bottles with said water. Yes. You can do more stuff with bottles of water than you can just bottles. Um. Shit. Shit. No. Let me pass. That's all I wanted to do. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright, it's night time now. So I mean, we're going to be home for the rest of the evening. A little sad that no Wolfram drones spawned. Because we really are close to having another piece of armor. 
I suppose we could uh, just make a helmet, choose our proficiency right now. Let's see, rogue damage, which we would start building this more. In fact, I think you can convert the throwing knives into a new weapon. And then, like, these start out as, like, one-time use consumable ammo, and you can, like, craft them into a non-consumable weapon. But, uh, I don't know if I want to go with rogue damage. I kind of want to do ranged. Where's that at? There we go, ranged. But, all we've got is a bow. That's our ranged right now. And it's not very good. What else can we build? First of all, we can, we can, we can, we can, we can, we, 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 we can trip over our words and not say anything at all. But no, we can move some of our stuff down here. So, chests. Perfect fit. Perfect fit for three chests. Uh, let's see here. Rename to four. Hold on, let's see. Metal. Gems. Four. There. And we will put exactly that in there. All of our metal, all of our gems, even these little, like, weird Wolfram shards, which are metal, I guess? Yeah. Alright. Loot. Shit. We'll rename this. Building blocks. And we will put exactly that in there. Any kind of block type material. I know sand and silt you can't really build with. Because it's like, you know, flipping, gonna fall. It has gravity. We'll also put all of our walls in here too. But this will be just a good generalized place to put all blocks, stone, dirt, uh, sand, all that crap. Ice and snow even, there you go, perfect examples. Yeah. Where is it? And, and this one, for now, we will put um, potions. And plants. The idea being that we will put the ingredients for said potions and the created potions in the chest. Uh, acorns don't count as potion ingredients, but they do count as plants, so they're going in. Uh, boop, boop. Uh, mushrooms, yeah. Slime is not a potion nor a plant, however, it is a potion ingredient, so I will throw it in there. I guess I could have named it something else like Potion Ingredients. Potions plus ingredients. But whatever. We're too far past that now. Let's see. I don't have any shit now. So now we should be able to stand in the middle of our crafting area, access our metal, and craft with said metal. Or, if we scooch over here... We should be able to craft some potions, but I don't know why I can't. I should have everything I need. Oh, I need to open the chest first. There we go. Haha, -ha, look at that! Regeneration, swiftness, night owl, archery. We got potions now. And we can, yeah, we can make the sticky bombs. In fact, wait, we have bombs in our inventory. Shouldn't we get the demolitionist soon? And then building blocks. I don't think we'll get much use out of that however the hammer sorry the wooden sword is a ingredient for something else All right this copper bow six damage the boreal wood bow six damage 
I don't see any other difference other than that. However, you used to not start with a bow. You used to start with, like, no bow, and you can make the shitty wooden bow. Shitty wooden bow and shitty wooden armor. Which the, the wood greaves don't even give you a defense. At least the boreal gives you one extra defense. You can make the crap wooden hammer, which has negative one range. Or you can make the slightly better, like, seasonal armor. Sorry, wood. Seasonal wood. Oh, it's really dark. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's an empty moon. I never noticed that like the phases of the moon affect how freaking dark it can be in your world. All right. Um. Let's see here. I guess we should make. Wait. Wait. I should have wood in my inventory at, like, all times. Just base-ass wood. Because it is, like, the ingredient for a bunch of shit. See? Look at that. I could make the wand of sparking now. Wouldn't have known that. It's a material and it shoots a shitty spark. It's not better than our amethyst staff. Which, honestly, is a garbage weapon. We could, we could build or find better than this. Alright. What's our objective now? Like, what what can we do? Are we brave enough to go into the desert now? Now that I have a single piece of armor? Or maybe we should see what's at the top of this ice. Or a snowy wall. Or down this snowy cave. This cave needs to be explored some more now that I actually have torches. Oh shit. Snowstorm! There's a Wolfram Shard there. There's a free Wolfram Shard. Uh, is that enough to tip the scales and get me a new piece of equipment? I'm going to immediately leave and find out. No! Leave me be! Ah! Six Wolfram Shards gets me... Yeah, uh, nothing new. Terrible. Terrible. Very right, fine. We have torches now. We can go down here. Do I have a recall potion? No, I dumped them all in the chest. Well, with my 20 gold coins, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, that. Taking off a quarter of my life. Alright. How many lenses do I have? Four. Holy cow. We nearly have enough to, uh... Damn it. Yeah. I was say we nearly have enough to craft the mysterious eye. To get our first true boss. Even though we haven't even fought like the, the baby mode boss, which would be King Slime. I wanna find some more materials. We need to upgrade our equipment. It's iron. Iron's not crazy epic. Oh. Uh. Well, shit. I gotta get out of here now. that jump? I don't think I can make that jump. I'm gonna try! Nope. Can I even jump off of a rope? Okay, I can jump off of a rope. 
Nope, can't make it. Ow. Well then, just build another rope over here. And now jump from what? Oh, I made the jump after I made the, like, safety rope. Shit, I just make more ropes, I guess. Use ropes. Use the ropes to get through. Yeah, so now we can light this path instead of just bumbling around in the dark. This is where we left off last time, and all my stuff is still here, even. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we'll just dig into the unknown. Oh, but the unknown is right around the corner. I don't know if I wanted to flood this area. Ah! No! Fuck off! Shit! Just died of a fucking bat. down there. Hold on. There. Okay, cool. We got our we got our demolitions. Hey! Hey! No, no, no. My con my controls are reversed. No! Cosmic elemental? Are you kidding me? Oh, and there's skeletons. Okay. Cool. 15 gold. You know what? Until I get the piggy bank, We'll put our gold coins into the metal box. Awesome. I got all of, like, one metal ore, and I lost a bunch of coins. Alright, okay, let's see if we can't get any, like, epic shit from this. No. Crap. Alright, well, we got the reindeer antlers. Those are pretty cool. Uh, we got this Christmas pudding, which is just another variant of the cookies. Uh, holly. Yeah, decorate the place. A little festive. Yeah! I like it! Okay. We're too... Yeah, we're like stupidly close to like the underground snow area. If anything, I'd like to make my signature mine shaft over this hill. So let's see if I can afford that. Also, yeah, that would bring us like close to my previous death point. So I can grab my gold back. Uh, bunch of bombs. Oh, that's right. Without the piggy bank, I can't access my my stuff. Okay, all right. How much does the piggy bank cost? I might have to just buy it right here now. Is it five gold? Oh, it's it's a single gold. That's not bad. Um, shit. Normally I like to put it on the table of the merchant, because he's the one who sold it to me. So why not let him have it? Can I place it on a platform? I can! Okay, cool. It'll just be in this central room here. Alright, so now, I don't have to worry about carrying my gold, because I can buy it with my, with my savings! Cool! Boatload of bombs, please! Oh, the stack goes further than 30. There. And now, do I have 99 slime? Uh, no. But, oh, what the fuck? Okay, new stuff. We could build web ball, which slows the enemy down. It's a consumable, so you only get to build the one, but you have to keep throwing it, or crafting it to reuse it. All of my slime! Alright, now this, this, this is, this is definitely a non-typical way of mining. Or maybe it is, I don't know. Most people just dig straight down and that is their mine shaft that they use to like access all the branching pathways. I've got a slightly, um, augmented method. The first thing that we're going to do is locate the coordinate of my death, which is like right there. 
So, I'm gonna clear out... Oh, shit. I'm gonna clear out all of this. Well, not clear out, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of as much of this water as I can. By just sort of digging a lake. Which I suppose... Ow! 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 Fuck! No! Are you kidding me? No! Ugh. Freaking water slimes almost did me in. Rain sucks. I don't like it. Oh, no! Ugh. Did I at least grab the Wolfram Shard? Can I build my pants yet? Yes. Leggings. Movement speed upgraded by a whole 5%. And so now... We are just a slightly bit more upgraded. Get the slime out of here. I almost want to do the summoning helmet just so I can have two of these things beat the shit out of my enemies for me. But that's not the way we're going to play this. Oh, I know. That's right. I deposited my gold into a safety bank. So I want as much of this water out of the way as possible. Because otherwise it's just going to flood my mine shaft, which, uh, it's okay if a little bit of water floods my mine shaft. I just don't want a whole lot of it. You know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Ow. Ow. Alright, yeah, we gotta get rid of this. We gotta get rid of this. This is causing, like, issues now. So, here. Here's where we're gonna have the lake. Yeah. Put one, two, three. Run away. Ow! Fuck off! Oh my god, there's more of them. There is, are even more of them. You fucking assholes! Alright, well, that got rid of most of them. Or shit, most of it. And we have a nice little lake that we can fish in. Mm. Flatten this out, get rid of this water. question is, where are we going to put this? Where are we going to put this? Can y'all, like, seriously fuck off? How are there this many fucking slimes here? This is, this is, this is, this is borderline, like, insane on the slimes. Alright. Heal. Uh, let's see. Oh, crap. Where did I die? I died here now, so I can't fucking tell. It was there. It was right there. Can I scroll on the map? I can. Okay. I might get hurt in the process of doing this. But we're going to take our tombstone and go right up. Straight up. Not moving the mouse. Not moving the mouse. Not moving the mouse. Right here. Literally next to my other tombstone. But hey. We'll move over a little bit. Because I don't want to disturb my current ah, natural cave. So here. Yeah. Right here. Now, please have some... Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, a better sword! Cool! I didn't know I can get a sword. I've been getting, like, uh... I got a grappling hook last time I did a little practice run. Okay. Joy to the world! On the third day of Christmas, I got a fucking candy cane sword. Yes, this is actually what I wanted. Okay. Or like get more overrun with slimes. Craft ourselves a bunch more sticky bombs. Kill it, kill it. Thank you. Okay. 
and position yourself in the middle of the rope. This is not incredibly important, but it does keep the shaft nice and uniform in shape. Ow. Ow! Fucking... This is not as, like, peaceful and safe as I thought it would be. I guess I'm used to doing this way closer to my house, which allows for, like, the sunflowers to keep all the fucking slimes off my face! Get the minion helmet. I just... There you go. I have two of these damn slimes, like, kicking ass for me. So, extra defense when I'm half health. Uh, and an extra minion. So guess what? Now we got slime number one and slime number two. Yeah. And now I feel confident in eating, like, one of these cookies. Because now we have a full set of armor. An eight defense, yes. So this is our mine shaft. It's not perfectly even because the nature of bombs does this. Let's see what's at the bottom. Oh, my death. Okay, it's not bad. We could slap a couple of these ah, ooh, ooh, platforms here. There. How about just, you know, just, just a few more. Not what I wanted, but hey, that works. I'll just run over it whenever I get here. I'll have to make the conscious decision of uh, going down the shaft. I won't accidentally fall down the damn thing while running past it. Right, let's just continue drilling it further down into the depths. There. A nice resting place for our sticky bombs. And you definitely want to use sticky because normal bombs will roll around. Could light this up if you do if you want. Which I do. Ah shit. There. In fact, you could even be like extra crazy and fill in the gaps that were made by your slightly erroneous bombs. Only a fool would do that. Oh, I'm out of torches. Oh shit. That's bad. Too many fucking slimes! It's lit up. You just need that one little middle block to aim for. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. Yep. That's bad. I think I jostled the mouse just a teensy bit and now the shaft is crooked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the whole thing shifted over a slight bit. Oh. We got a little treasure chest uncovered! Ow. And blow pipe, grenades, recall potion. Good, I'll, I'll take the recall potion. I mean, I'll, I'll take the whole damn thing, of course, but... Stumbled into a little isolated cave system. 
Get him! Get him, slimes! Obey me! Oh shit, what's that? Oh, it's a zombie. Ah. Another. There's another chest. If I'm being honest, I'm not excited about these wooden chests this close to the surface. Yeah. Nothing crazy. No crystal hearts, though. Sucks. I can't get back up to my little area. So, let's recall and use this opportunity to sort out my shit. reflective blue dye to become the the, the, the pulsating man All right anything craftable a wolfram uh, bow it has knockback on it which the other bows lack it does have a little bump of damage huh what else can we make with Wolfram? Hold on, is there like something I'm missing here? Oh yeah, I need a piece of Wolfram in my in my inventory to give to him. Okay, we got the chest plate. We got the five different helmets designated designating the five different damage types. Uh, let's see. Wolfram Axe. Oh, that's like a equipment axe, not a weapon axe. Hammer. These are like literally one tiny step above bronze. Because bronze or copper or tin would have the same thing, but it would have the less range. The, the Wolfram Blade is nice because it's very fast. It has knockback. And it's auto-swinging. It auto-swings. It can auto-swing. You can auto-swing it. Alright, I think I might want to make the bow. Just to, mat just to have that one little tiny chunk of upgrade. So, bow. And this bow can go. This dirt can go. And this stone can go. These are throwing weapons that I got from a fucking present... Shurikens can go to... Uh... Is that everything? Yeah. Okay. What kind of arrows do I have? Shitty flaming ones. Hmm. What monstrous things can I craft with a basic arrow? Let's see. The endless quiver. Which is kind of redundant. Because it can only be an endless... Like, standard... Oh, wait, actually, no, it's a material in this! I see! Maybe we can upgrade it to have better arrows. Let's see. Flaming arrows. Ice torches to make frostburn arrows. Fallen stars to make jester arrows. In fact, keep an eye on these. I want to see if any of them are also a material. I don't think we'll have worm tooth in this version because... Uh... We have... Crimson? Actually, wait, I don't think the Eater of Worlds drops Worm Tooth. I think the standard worms that are floating about can drop those. Alright, Hellfire. Cursed Icor. Alright, so Holy Arrows are the end of, like, Vanilla Terraria. Now this is new shit right here. Venom Arrows. Napalm. And Terra Arrows. Holy crap. Travels incredibly quickly. 
and explodes into more arrows when it hits a certain velocity. So I guess if you're running while shooting, they'll be moving even faster. Alright, but the Endless Quiver. You need the Crystal Ball, which I don't even, I don't even know how you get. Uh, okay. Let's dump this, let's dump this, let's dump these. I honestly do not care about building Candy Cane House. It's just not, it's not worth it. Uh, that can go... That can stay. Oh, shit. No, no, no. That can stay. That can stay. Just for now. That can stay. Uh, the blowpipe. It's not a material. And it's really just gonna weigh me down. Because... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Wait. Better yet. We can sell those. The grenade's a material. Strange plan. Right, what else? What else? What else? What else? I'm looking! Okay. Go to the merchant. Will you buy these seasonal things? Yes. Cool. Strange plant is better off converted into dye. Glowing mushroom dye. Does that look better? Actually, it does look a tiny bit better. There. Hmm. No. Part of me kind of likes this more, just because it's like a pulsating blue. So sell that for two gold. Uh, what else? I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow, the slime staff is worth a good chunk of money. Once we no longer need it, we can sell it for two gold. A silver axe. I need more silver to make it better. Yeah, I think that's what I need. And it could become, like, a way better axe than, like, a platinum axe. Or maybe even, like, a demonite ore axe. Okay, quick stack. Six gold in the bank. Hell yeah. Right, now what? What do we do now, guide? Stay indoors at night. Yeah, I know. What's this? The truffle worm. Made with glowing mushrooms? But it needs the auto hammer. Okay, that's end game shit right there. We can make some good bait by combining a worm and a fish. I mean, a star to make a cosmic night crawler. Which is also a material? Hold on. I was not aware of this. Let's bake. Let's. I was about to say, let's bake it. Oh, shit! Is that a golden fucking squirrel? Got him! Hell yeah. I can sell for a good bit of cash. I can't do something else. No, you can just put it in a cage. Now then, this! Oh. Great, cool. Put it in a fucking terrarium. Bye, squirrel. Uh, let's see. Don't really need mana at the moment. So let's just make a bunch of those. There. Now, if only I had a fishing rod. We can make a incredibly garbage-like wooden one. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, 5% fishing power. Disgu it's a material. It's a material! The other fishing poles that I've seen were not materials. God dang it. Teach me your ways! <gasps> the early bloom rod made out of... Urlo bloom bars? What? It goes up to 60%. What? Lines never snap. Requires bait. The only bird catches the fish. Alright. Well... We have a rod. It's not a good one because I thought that. Uh, never mind what I thought. I thought I would have been able to upgrade it sooner than like I don't know. End game. When the hell do you get? Oh, the merchant. The merchant. The traveling merchant. This is literally a wild card. This could be anything. Tell me you've got something, something amazing. I've got a lot of gold. What do you got? What do you got? 
Oh, oh, that's... Mmm. All right. I need to scrounge up some cashola, like, immediately. Oh, I don't have a lot of time. How much cash do I have? I have 16 gold. I need... Fucking... Yeah, 20 more. Crap. I've got one day. One freaking day. To get some more gold. So, quick stack. Eat some damn cookie. Wait, well, you no. Know, eat the pudding. Eat the Christmas pudding. And let's go! We got some gold to get. We're not going to find it underground. We need to find pig. We need to find... Uh... Yeah. We gotta find something that can give us tons of gold. What can give us tons of gold? We can fish. We can fish and get the gold, I guess. Let's just have a look, see. Give me something, give me something, give me something. Come on! Oh, no, that's not gonna do. That won't do at all. That ah, crap. No. Let me out. Okay. How do I get from one end to the other? I suppose I would just have to make a little platform bridge. Leave me alone. For real. Like, piss off. I'm sick of all these slimes, like, right outside of my house. I'm gonna fill this in with dirt, damn it. All right, and now we're gonna build something a little, a little artistic. Okay, baby slimes, kill it, please. I would like this. Oh, piss off! I can't build in these conditions. There, there, there. I think you can fish through this, yeah? Yeah, you can throw it down. Okay. There. Now then, what about bombs? Bombs don't seem to want to stick to these platforms. So we'll make this fishing lake just a wee bit bigger. There. Okay, cool. That's all the water gone, yeah? No? There's still a teensy bit more? that problem with my platforms. There. Good. It's perfect. It's fucking perfect. Now the baby slimes come to me. We're on a we're on a money quest, damn it. Go. Fucking ant lions. Get the map out of here. There. Okay. I killed one. Yeah! Oh shit, there's like a bit more. This looks like a job for more platforms. I say throw a grenade right at you. <laughs> Poultry gets a grenade too. There. Okay. Oh god. The ant lion swarmer. No, leave me alone. Shit. Shit. I didn't make it very far. Crap. 
crap. All right, well, we got an antlion mandible. That's something, yeah? Can I, can I fucking do anything with it? No? All right, well. What's this? Oh, yeah, I can make mud. Crap, well, we have a dilemma here. This guy's here, and he's selling an amazing fishing rod, but there's no way in hell I can afford it. There's no fucking way. I might just have to settle and get the life form analyzer. But we have some time left. We have some time left. Let's go this way and see if we can find some cash. How many Wolfram shits do I have? Nope. Alright, not enough. There. Slight adjustment. Fuck you. Oh no, fall damage. Alright, today we climb this. We didn't want to climb it before because it was too risky. But now we're going to have to take these kind of risks in order to proceed. What's downy? Shit. I think I see some crimson... Oh no. We could and I like this 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 is risky this is definitely a high risk, high reward solution to our problem. We could take on the slime king. I don't know if we're well equipped enough to, to take him down, but we could give it a go. He would drop a good bit of cash. Yeah, this is crimson. I see crimson sand. I see crimson ice. This is crimson. Great. And I know we're definitely not ready for this shit. Not by a long shot. Okay, can I get the damn fishing rod off of my hotbar? I don't need it right now. survive this. Let's go down. Not that far down, damn it. Too far down, too fast. Oh, the freaking ice cave, like, bleeds into this. What a mess. Ow. And vine. Oh, shit. Crimson slime. Ow. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. This is bad. Well, hold on. There's, there's this, which has. Oh, it's one of those shrines I saw about on the wiki. Yeah, cool. All right. The quick trinket of chi. I don't know which of those we just got. Yeah, your next attack is boosted, and you're more resilient. That's nice and all, but wasn't there literally like a treasure chest here as well? Yeah. I'd like to see what was in there. <gasps> oh. Nothing. Oh, however, it is warding, so it gives us four defense just for having the damn thing on. Alright, there's nothing left here. Can I... What? No! I don't have my potions of teleportation. That's fine, we'll scum it.
Is he still here? Oh no, I think I might have screwed myself out on that one. Yeah, traveling merchant's not here anymore. Oh well, I get. You know what? That's fine. That that takes the temptation away, because that was definitely like a situation where I was gonna do something drastic just to try to get some money. All right, iron and other metals. Do I have anything new to add to it? I guess the wolfram and the tin ore. Uh, potions and their respective ingredient plants. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And then building blocks. We can put the clay in there. We can put the stone. The wood. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Nowhere to go. Except for, I guess we can go finish up our shaft. Let's go work on the big old mining trench. I'm going to sign two fresh slimes, of course. Oh, yeah. Shit, we kind of fucked our shaft a little bit, but ah no, okay, it's not as bad as you think. This is this is actually pretty easily fixed with some bombs. Digging through existing terrain. There's no more water. We bombed it all away. Which means that falling down here would be a death sentence. Alright. Thread that needle. Thread it! Yeah! Oh! We found more water. Cool. crystal heart which means we have a nurse now as soon as you know I pick it up let's do this this and this that way I don't have to keep switching between the two Spider statue. Oh, hold on, let me grab that sweet loot. And, uh, just have a little peek over here, maybe? Oh, cool. Not a damn thing. I guess I'll rope my way back up. Well, now we're in a situation where... Our mine shaft is submerged, and we have to like do a little bit of breathing and swimming just to get to it. There. Also, I can't see under this water. I don't have a glow stick. Which is this? A spider statue? Oh, it's a wall creeper statue. That's worse. It's a crimson spider statue. Alright, give me that. I know it's a material. We can check out what it does the next time we get one. For now, just having that extra HP is so fucking comforting. Oh dear, it's nighttime. This is not good. Let's go fishing. Can I put? Yeah, I can. Good.
Damn it. Okay, yeah, fishing at night would not be a good idea. Let's get out of here. Ow. Ow. Shit. No. Leave me be. Into the mines. Woo. Oh. I was expecting something to come crashing down after me. Oh. Hello, cataract eye. Alright, well, shit. I guess we're gonna have to spray and pray. Aim for the rope, and hopefully that is straight down. It seems to be. I can still hear stone being destroyed with each explosion, which is a good sign. No! Oh, fuck! I got to extend the rope. Shit. Uh. No! Alright, fine. Save scum. When we did that the first time anyway, we lost the bunch of gold that was at the bottom of that. Alright, we're almost like at the point where we were when we died all those times ago. Sugar cookie. Okay, it's more cookie. Um, oh, you know what? Fireflies are a good bait. So where is... Um, there. Okay. Let's see if I can grab a few of these. Shit. Got one. <sighs> Let's see. Your standard worm, 25. Enchanted Worm, 35. Firefly, 20. So, I mean, like, it's not it's not great, but it's a lot better than, like, most of the butterflies that you find. Yeah! Yeah? Oh. <laughs> Motherfucker. I see you. I see you flying away, asshole. All right. All right, that's enough. That's enough of that. Let's contemplate what we can do now. There's no really there's not need for more building at the moment because we still have four empty rooms. And the nurse should show up shortly now that we've got our extra heart container. Oh yeah, I need to resummon my slimes. Actually, yeah. Get him out there. Get him! Get him! Yeah! Two more lenses and we can have a mysterious eye. Actually, yeah, hold on. Doesn't... Doesn't this fucko sell... Glow sticks. He sure does! Perfect. Now I can see underwater. And even better. I can just throw one at the bottom of the mine shaft and continue digging. Speaking of which, we need another little stack of bombs. slime. There. Alright. Let's hope this will be enough to make some good progress on the mine shaft. Same mistake. Let's extend the rope as we go down it. Okay.
taken out. It's where I died all those deaths ago. Well, I was trying to just mine this fucking iron. Oh, a snail! A snail! Yeah. Snail worth 10% bait power. That's actually pretty shitty. Alright, let's try to get this again and hope that that cosmic elemental doesn't fuck me. Well, now we have quick access to literally the last depth that we were at. go very far. Crap. A skeleton. Funny thing about the uh, slime summon, you can just click where the enemy is and it'll summon a new one right there on its ass. <laughs> Easy kill. Is there anywhere to explore now that we've dug this all out? Not really, we didn't hit a cave system except for the one that we already are in. What's that? A oh shit, oh shit, no! Alright, I guess we'll have to get more... Whoa, what? Beg pardon? Feral bite. What the hell happened? Causes status effects. My controls were inverted for like a second. Hmm. Weird. Oh, the nurse! The nurse is here! Let's go fishing in the daytime. Because that's stupid. I don't have a lot of inventory space, but hey. We've only got ten bait. We can sit here and fish for just a second. Even though this rod is terrible. It's fine. There's like low stakes this early on in our fishing career anyway. Frog leg? Hold on. What? Interesting funny how we got like a really nice rare accessory from like the poopy fishing rod so now I take reduced fall damage I can just hold down space to auto hop and we can jump way 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 higher and of course it's a material so we can figure out what we can combine this with later In fact, we've got a couple of accessories that are materials. Oh, we got our traveling merchant back. Let's see what he has today. How much fall resistance do we have? Oh, well. I didn't get a chance to check it out. Hey, right, traveling merchant, what you got? Today you've got the gypsy robe. Today you've got a painting, a diamond ring, and a pressurator. Huh. None of these I want. No. If I was going for the magic build, the gypsy robe would be useful, but it's not even a material, so I can't upgrade it later. Alright, you! I'd like to know what I can do with a couple of my accessories. I have an aglet. 
we could make the lightning boots. Which we would need the Spectre boots, which are an upgrade of the Hermes boots. And then the frog legs can be turned into the Status's ninja belt. And the mother of all balloons? That's literally from, like, the Flash game Bloons. Counts as wings. And, yes, so it just converts, like, jumping into just flight. Because that gives you quadruple jump. But you need, like, what, the sandstorm in a bottle? You need three balloons. So, like, yeah. You need to get three red balloons. Combine, th combine them with the blizzard in a bottle, sandstorm in a bottle, and... I don't know. Fart in a bottle? Lucky horseshoe. The jetpack? How the hell do you get the jetpack? And all of the fucking hard mode souls. Alright, so that's that's late game nonsense. What about this? Petrified, purified gel. Core of Alelium and Master Ninja Gear. This increases jump and allow constant jumping. Can climb walls, dash, and dodge attacks. This is rogue accessory. Interesting. Well, for now we have just frog legs. So it's going to be a while before we can upgrade the frog legs. And the aglet. Really? Shit. Okay. Did I at least get a good... No. Never mind. And I didn't get a good aglet either. Crap. Um. Huh. Let's auto dump some shit. Eh. And do we go back to fishing or do we explore something else now? I could buy more bombs. And just ever deepen the the mining trench. Damn it. Damn it. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I'd like to farm some of these slimes now that I'm out of gel. And also, is there anything down here? Whoa, what's that? Fearless Goldfish Warrior. Let's see how fearless you are. Oh, you've got stats, man. Gave me a tin helmet. Huh. Okay. Goldfish Warrior. That's new. I don't know if that's vanilla or with the mod anymore. I can't tell. Oh yeah, you know what? Can we grab one of these sunflowers and put it near my fishing hole? So that there's like slightly less like annoyances bothering me. Ow. I just want it right. E. There. Now I can fish in relative peace. Not perfect. Enemies can still spawn, just less. plants because it's stuffed with delicious herbs oh good crates we're probably not going to get to see a iron or hell even a gold crate with this fishing rod but the crates are also wild cards that could be turned into almost almost some good shit again all we have is wooden crate I just want to take advantage of the fact that it's raining. Get as much fishing done as possible. What's this? 
Oh, the chi. That's right. We got the uh, the chi aglet or talisman or whatever. I like how throwing the fishing rod counts as an attack. Come on. Come on. Alright. Try again. Raining definitely boosts, like, fishing power. So we need to, like, take advantage of this while we can. If I were to sue, if I were to travel to one end of the earth, I could find the angler. And he could start giving me fishing missions. We could have all sorts of cool stuff happen then. We have our surface lake, definitely. Um, I guess I could convert one of these into an underground lake easily. Probably this one, since it's already a little bit bigger. Just, like, carve out that area, clear off the top. Have a nice... Wait, what the heck was it saying that was there? Oh, tin. Whatever. So we would have an underground lake, definitely. Going deeper still, we could have a cavern lake. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. I don't even want to fight you. We're not even, like, consuming the bait that I have. It's weird. I kind of want to consume the bait so I can clear it out of my inventory, but it's just not... not reducing at all. Alright, the, 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 the sunflower's not working as much anymore. We have to defend ourselves! slimes insist on being in the lake that I'm trying to fish in. So again, my bait, it's gone down one, but I feel like I've pulled up a lot of stuff. Damn it. Yeah, also, even when I fail to pull up a fish, shouldn't I lose the bait? going on here? Am I using... Okay, the enchanted like, worm is my, like, next bait. Oh! Oh! Happy day in iron crate. Oh, more crates! Good! The more of these, the better. This will make it so that I don't have to go into the fucking mines and get my materials. I can just fucking pull them out of the water! Jesus! All right, I've had my fill of this. Let's go back home. I need to dye my frog legs now. There. I was like, why are my why are my pants glowing anymore? Because the frog legs cover them up. All right. Uh. Let's quick stack. Put away some new building blocks. Actually, hold on. Sort inventory. This is a banner for uh, defeating an X amount of an enemy. And it gives us extra damage against it when it's nearby. 
Oh, it also gives us extra defense against it? Alright, cool, 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 cool. The shoe can go. The pine tree can go. The vine rope can go. Uh, God dang it, man. Just like more of this crap. I don't want the spider statue. Snail can go. Quite honestly, yeah. Tin helmet, don't need it. Unless I can melt it back down into tin, which I don't know if I can or not. Probably not. Couldn't do it in vanilla. Probably can't do it with the mod. Oh, I thought that was a wooden crate and I thought it was a material for a second. My eyes lit up for a moment. Ugh. So we can make a mining potion, we can make a sand gun, and we can make a thing that summons a boss. Which, yeah, we're not, we're not flexing with that just yet. Um, leather? What can we do with leather? Whoa, I see. We can make water walking boots? Oh, we need water walking potion. We can also make the ice skates. Hmm. Feral Claws, Raiders, Talisman. Whenever you crit an enemy with a rogue weapon, your rogue damage increases. You can stack. Mad Alchemist's Cocktail Glove. Whoa, that does an insane amount of damage. That seems like endgame level crafting. We got some Blighted Gel from a Crimson Slime. We can make an overloaded sludge from... I guess we're going to have to use crimstone blocks for that. And it summons a boss. There is... Okay, that, that drops from the boss. So combine it to get a spell book. Not a bad spell book, actually. Huh. We can craft two really nice... Spell tombs. Uh, let's see, a knife, a knife, a summon staff, another summon staff. I see, Ebonwood, Shadewood. Hmm, seems like if we defeat the slime god, we can make something epic. But, we're not there yet. Let's crack open our fish. We got... All of that. Some of this stuff we would not get for way long. Tragically, we can't plant it unless we have the proper soil, which I don't. But hey, what can we build now? Let's see. The danger sense. I think that's new. Nothing else, really. Okay. Well, then. Just dump all of this into a chest. Put the blighted slime in there too? No. We'll have another chest for like monster drops. Which yeah. Wooden crate. Gold bars. Plenty of gold. Some oh I got some bait. Oh I got some bait! Yeah! Good. Let's see, we could build a radar. We can also build an aglet, but we already have one, so no need to build one. Hmm. I still kind of want to build this Wolfram blade. Just because it has the auto swing. Radar. Nah. Screw that. Let's instead build some sticky bombs. We still want to build our little mine shaft, don't we? Well. Put that, put that. Uh, put those. Yeah, all that can go away. I'm getting tired. I can hardly, like, maintain volume at this point. How's our money looking? Oh, yeah. Nice little tin gold. Quick stack that. 25 gold doubloons. 
So fishing is a way to get more cash. Hold on, we have iron in this world, yeah? Can I just make the iron... Yeah, the iron fishing rod. There is also a Wolfram fishing rod. It's weaker than the iron one. Honestly, that's the one you want to start off with. Skip the wood one. Go straight to the Wolfram one, which is like double the fishing power. And honestly, I don't know what else you could build. Let's check the wiki, since we're like this late into this... Uh, fishing. Fishing poles. What new ones are added to the mod? Wolfram. Navy fishing rod. How do you get it? You craft it out of sea prism and navy stone. Okay. Uh, heron rod. Made out of a different bar that I don't have yet. My god! Okay. So that's fine, I guess. Fishing gear. Fishing poles. Bait. New fish. Yeah, I've seen some of these. New quest fish. New gear. Alright. How about we call it quits for today? We've been going for three hours. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. We will continue playing this world for December and maybe even further beyond. But for now, we're going to just go to bed because it's late. All right. Yeah. Go back to this. <laughs> I wish you good night. And I'll catch you on the next stream.